This is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing the astrology for February 16th, 2024. The moon starts the day in the stabilizing and comforting energy of Taurus, but this afternoon it will move into Gemini. We are also in the first quarter of the moon because the sun in Aquarius squares the moon in Taurus. We feel a shift that is hard to comprehend. We seek to understand more than it seems we know how to assimilate. Each action taken will matter greatly. Seems we're being asked to become even more aware of how our choices determine not just our next actions, but perhaps the next steps that could evolve humanity. Caution is advised and to see that impulsivity is not the best objective to set this, new, this next cycle. It can feel as if we are caught in a web of sorts and obstacles surround us on all sides. And there seems to be a type of tension in the web that seems to be causing stress and anxiety. For some, they wish to find ways to end the conflicts, but for others, they are drawn in by all things new that are interesting, even if we may not completely understand those things or the powers that they may hold. Venus moves from Capricorn and into Aquarius. It will be there until March 11th. There are many things that call us to recognize that we are in a massively unconventional time. Freedoms have never been more threatened on a global scale, and we are attempting to find ways to understand the actions of a few because we are not used to such dangerous and callous choices by such souls that seem to have no conscience and no desire to do what is best for the whole. But the force of so much energy moving into Aquarius is attempting to show us how to move towards a more unselfish place where fairness and impartiality can become critically important. Freedom requires an innate openness, but it also requires a type of honesty, which we are currently lacking. Venus is moving towards a conjunction with Pluto, and the desire for change is increasing and we recognize that we need to grow up. Selfishness is contrary to life in any reality, but in this new reality, and we are looking for how to find something that we are seeking, but not in the way that we used to. It seems questions are more forthcoming than answers. What is clear is that the answers are not what or where they used to be found. We have created a world that is massively complex and manipulative and is destroying those things that have the greatest value. This may manifest in a desire to find things that draw our focus and attention. We want more from our engagements with others. We see something deeper that has been lacking because of this dysfunctional world. We could keep pulling back in a way to protect ourselves and our own hearts. Perhaps this is an important part of growth. I recognize that we need to remember that connection is what makes us so very human. How can we save humanity if we are not embracing our own? Add to this inner conundrum, we have Mercury and Uranus squaring, and that makes conversations move haphazardly and add to the overall feelings of tension. There seems to be some sort of massive overstimulation that is happening. Perhaps that is good as we are accessing new levels of our brain that can give us sudden flashes of insight and possibilities. Remember that the task ahead is monumental and that we need to slow to go slow. But so many are fed up with everything that it is leading to tremendous impatience and some that cannot seem to keep their mind quiet. Overall, I am encouraged by this astrology because it can give us insights into very new ways of being and perhaps we can inspire the masses to reach for the good in the human potential rather than so much bad. We have so much potential. Do we have the courage to reach beyond our past? Do we have the courage to leap towards truth rather than away from it? I believe that we are at a point where we have a chance to bring about a type of global enlightenment. We are just like a Buddha sitting under the tree being asked to observe objectively our own horrific past to learn to love all that we are and all that we have been in order to evolve into what we can become. We are being asked to be honest and to see the terrible things we have done, the good and the bad, and allow that hard truth to finally bring us to a new understanding, a new place of center, and towards a new hope for humanity. I believe that we can find that elusive path. I believe that we can become more than we have previously been. I hope that there is more good in the world than bad. I believe that more life wants to evolve rather than devolve into something that is so destructive. We are coming to a critical threshold of change, and this is a powerful moment of transition. I know that what comes next is difficult, as all great changes are. But those that are here ask to be here at this moment, and it is very important that we embrace our potential rather than continue the trajectory of so much suffering. Thanks, everyone.